Καλησπέρα σα. Είμαι η Νεκταρία Καρακατσάνη. Welcome, I'm Νεκταρία Καρακατσάνη. And I'm very happy to be here to coordinate as a moderator of this panel with six speakers. I think that our section here is very topical, very current. We're going to talk about PPAs. We're going to analyze them in terms of the structure, of the technical details, the legal details, financial details. I want to thank the organizers for hosting this conference and I want to welcome Ms. Sargiro Banila. She's uh, from the National Bank, uh, Head of Structure Financing, Corporate and Investment bank Banking. It's a very impressive title. Mr. Christos Nakos, the Head of uh, Proteria. Mr. Costantinos Eleferiades, a partner, energy industry leader of Deloitte Greece. Mr. Andreas Petropoulias, energy management director of El Pedison. Hello. Mr. Apostolos Panos, head of energy management at the NL Green Power Elas. And Mrs. Stella Zacharia, CEO of Optimus Energy. So this panel is very well know, has very well good knowledge of the LG criteria and uh, I'm very glad uh, to see some women in this panel because uh, the quotation has to rise. So I'm going to start with an introductory comment. Let me just say that the PPAs are one of the accelerators actually of the green transition into a new landscape with new data new uncertainties and very strong climate ambitions. The RES support systems are being transformed worldwide and we're going towards their abolition. At the same time, the old contracts fitting tariffs, the guaranteed prices are coming to an end. Only in Germany, four gigawatts in 2020 are included in this category. And we expect that we're reaching 2.5 megawatts in Germany uh, soon enough. So we see that the RES are fully participating in the market. This has new challenges. Uh, there is a balancing cost. And at the same time, we also, we also have the cannibalization effect. What does this mean? That the RES, which are subsidized, compress the prices and this is a challenge for the sustainability of the various investments in new RES projects in an era without subsidies whatsoever. So financing is the new, um, the new trend for the bankable projects that will be able to manage all the challenges in order to stabilize uh, money flows. On the other hand, we have the consumers, major companies, major enterprises, commercial players or industrial players that uh, adopt, adopt uh, ambitious uh, decarbonizing um, objectives. Also, the banks uh, turn towards green indicators. For example, the investment bank wishes to become the first uh, green bank. So we see that the consumers uh, wish uh, to proceed to hedging uh, solutions in order to stabilize as much as this can be done uh, to the prices uh, for a large uh, percentage of their consumption for long periods, usually uh, up to 15 years. So parallel to the benefits of the PPA from this hedging and uh, the potential decrease of cost, we might have some additional benefits and uh, the RES uh, directive uh, amendments uh, goes towards this direction. So the companies, the enterprises today feel that they uh, add to the um, development of the new RES. So how, which is the structure of the new contract? I'm, I'm sure that the, our panelists will give us a lot of details. So we can have natural delivery or virtual delivery, a virtual financial product within a contract today. There are many risk parameters and usually in a negotiation, the two, two parties need to have a common understanding with this golden 
balance of the risk uh, parameters. So we have a fluctuation of prices, both in uh, costs and guarantees. For example, a PV has a 60% of consumption guarantee and the rest will come from uh, green certificates from the energy grid. We also have volume fluctuation from the RES uh, systems. Financial risk is an important parameter too. The volatility in markets and also, also the consumption profile. So we have additional costs and the profiling or shaping cost and all the risks uh, hedged uh, have is a, uh, a challenge, a new challenge. So we have a plethora of new products. One can buy a percentage from a, a certain RES project or a baseline from a specific consumption profile or an indexation based on uh, the market with certain safeguards. What is important is that now we have reached the standardization of such contracts with several platforms in Europe, as you see on the slide, and the contracts allow um, individualization, uh, personalization of the configura uh, configuration. The Aggregators play a very important role and uh, the banks as well. From my academic experience, especially in uh, London, I have seen that nowadays we see more and more examples of companies that be become, turn into renewable retailers. So they create consumption assets, as for example, Tally in Spain that create, develops a 3.3 gigawatt PV park to cover fully throughout Europe the green activi activities until 2025. We also see verticalized, uh, vertically integrated players that uh, enter into other companies uh, REST projects for a better uh, risk allocation. Also, we can ha have multiple off-takers, while we also see municipalities entering these uh, um, PPT schemes uh, in various ways. Financing is always critical. That's why uh, mechanisms uh, are important. One such mechanism it was in Norway in 2016, then Spain, and then Greece now has a scheme that uh, will give, uh, will uh, boost the market. We see that uh, storage is uh, the main uh, uh, issue here, and also renewable gases. As regards uh, uh, demand. The colossal companies worldwide wish to provide 24-7 green energy. This, is, uh, this can be a reality. We see this in Norway by exploiting electricity and RES energy. And uh, also, we see swaps of volume thermic agreements, especially via the Microsoft uh, solutions, in order to ensure the whole system. When we compare a PPA against uh, the retail prices, we need to understand that we reduce uh, the costs uh, into, down to the projections of uh, 10 years after today. This includes uncertainties, of course, and the cannibalization effect has to be considered here. It is indicative that only last September, the European exchange, the EEX, introduced a decade indicator that will let the hedging proceed to um, PPAs. So after my comment, I would like to give now the floor to our first um, um, Guest, Mrs. Vanilla from uh, the National.